Hello, my gorgeous and lovely Libra. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling just superb. I really hope the week has been just beautiful. I hope it's been marvelous for all of you. For those that are returning to this channel, welcome back. Thank you so much. For those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, a very, very warm welcome. By the end of this reading, if you do like it, if it resonates, if there's any type of connection to any capacity, I do encourage you, Libra, to subscribe to this channel. Sorry, I just knocked the camera there. I do encourage you to subscribe to this channel. That way you never, ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every single Thursday without fail. That's the beauty of subscribing to our channel, Libra, is that Gigi does a reading for you and I do a reading for you. You get two different videos uploaded for you in your dedicated playlist, always uploaded from the latest so the newest to the oldest videos. For today, I'll be using the Cara Marchetti Tarot and the Silver Moon Witchcraft Tarot. If you do like these decks, if you're interested in purchasing your own decks and being the proud owner or owners, head to the description box below. I have put direct links there and we can instantly purchase these decks. And I've also put other direct links for other tarot decks that Gigi and I really still actively use for this channel that we highly recommend. All right, quick announcement before we start, Libra. For those that did miss out on the early bird discount for our master online tarot course, fear not, we are holding a holiday slash Christmas sale. So if you head down to the description box below, there will be two things waiting there for you. One, your discount code. We are slashing the price from the original uh, well, price of the course, and two, a direct link to our official website that will take you to the course. Just enter the discount code in and you don't have to pay full price. Now, as a reminder, it's a very in-depth, thorough course. I believe there's like 91 or 92 steps, a lot of videos, <laughs> of course. Um, it is 100% online, self-paced, so no one's hurrying you up. There's no deadlines. You've got downloadable workbooks or videos. You can download them or keep them on your free account. It is very, it's, it's intense, <laughs> but it's fun. And when you do finish, you get your own certificate of completion. All right, so let me take away the clarifying deck and I will clear the main deck for you. Libra, for this week, I want to talk about immediate love messages. What do your spirit team want you to know? What will require your immediate attention, analysis? What's the heads up? So this is for the next few days or for the next coming weeks. Immediate love messages, please, for the collective watching this. Guide Libra, guard Libra, and please protect Libra. Now and always, spirit team. We're seeing two more after this, thank you. These are always pre-shuffled, but I always shuffle them always on camera and always away from me because I don't want to see the cards because I usually pick up on a lot of messages and energies even well before I see the cards. All right, so I am seeing the initial F, like for Fred or Fran. Someone has a mole on the side of their face or a scar on their neck. I'm just seeing someone scratching their neck, but I'm seeing there could be a, a, like a, a beauty spot or a mole on the side of your face, like a cheek. Could be you or your person. Oh, okay. What do we have? It just went flying out. Whoa. Okay. Well, someone's going to make some moves towards you. The King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, and the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Someone is going to make big moves towards you, but why do they feel a little bit intimidated? They could be a little bit scared. They're a little bit guarded. Perhaps they don't want their head bitten off. Okay, but they're going to do it. So they may appear cool, calm, and collected, but they're actually quite nervous. I feel like there's something they want to say to you that they've been hiding or they've been holding in for a very long time four more three more two more last one please i just keep hearing like here i come that, okay <laughs> i'm seeing someone has curly hair like it could be like a, a red head or strawberry blonde short curly hair okay yes yeah, some oh my god someone's making moves towards you we've got the emperor and the emperor often reminds me a lot of the king of wands they could be like best friends first cousins brothers yeah identical twins they're very like ambitious here this is aries energy it is pretty much the divine masculine it's all the kings wrapped up into one it's the king of kings they're reaching out to you here they come look how they're just looking straight at you look at the intensity of their eyes looking at you libra 
Here they come. They're going to make big, bold, bold, strategic moves. They want change with you. The Wheel of Fortune is very tied to your destiny, divine timing. The perfect time that they're reaching out to you is the way it should be. We have here Taurus. We have Libra. No, sorry, because I'm looking at you. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius. There we go. I almost forgot. So Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius energy. So they meet, they wish to move forward with you. New chances, new cycles, new opportunities. They're going to send you a message. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So first is a small message. Even though we're getting very mature, grown up energy, the message here is going to be small. It's not groundbreaking. It's not something that's going to shatter the ceiling, but eventually they want to see you face to face. That's pretty cool though. It's a solid offer here. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to gasp. I just wasn't expecting this. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. This person loves you. Why do I say that? Because the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups are very deeply rooted in what? True love, soulmate relationship. This person's not giving up on you. They absolutely adore you. Oh, and they want to heal something between the both of you. Okay, I like where they're going with this. Temperance number 14 in the Major Arcana ruled by Sagittarius. It's a complete opposite of what? The devil, peace, balance, harmony, excuse me. Ace of Cups, the card of true love. One month here, four weeks. They love you. It's about being in love, falling in love all over again. Okay, this is something they've been planning. This is not a spur of the moment. Immediate messages, please. Here we go. The Five of Wands, Leo energy. Is this why, Libra, that your person feels a little bit guarded, a little bit intimidated? What was it like the last time you spoke to this person, the last encounter, the last time you were in the room or the last phone call? Because I'm hearing there could have been some shouting matches. It is a card of competition, arguments, conflict, butting of heads, a clash of egos. Nobody's happy here. Everyone's arguing. Everyone pretty much, it looks like they hate each other. Although I'm not really picking up that you do hate each other, but... There's a lot of there's a lot of conflict here. This is probably why. This is probably why they're actually a little bit intimidated. They don't want to kind of open that pot. They don't want to stir the pot. They're leading with their heart here. They want to heal this badly. The Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. We've got someone clutching their pillow, feeling quite depressed, lonely, anxious, nervous at night. Your person is very scared of this. They're losing sleep. I feel like they're very good actors. They actually don't show it. But you kind of know when this person is not feeling confident. I'm hearing that they fall very quiet and very serious. Because I'm hearing that your person knows how to laugh. They know how to smile. They know how to have a good time. But when they're nervous, they just fall silent. Mm, this is guilt seeks punishment. Your person is regretting something they said to you. Something they did to you. And it's literally eating them alive. The beating heart of the reading, please. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know what you're going to say. They don't even know if this can be saved, but they're going to try. The Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. I think they're also afraid, what if now Libra is looking elsewhere? What if you have options? They may regret the fact that perhaps they showed you that they were emotionally unavailable, that they had options, that they were tempted by another option, or they listened to other people when they shouldn't have. No, no, no. Anything that happens between the both of you stays between the both of you. I feel like they're emotionally spread out, a little bit overwhelmed, even a bit confused. It's like, I want to approach Libra. I don't even know if we can heal this. I don't know if Libra wants to meet me in the middle. What are they going to do about it, please? They're coming back. Ooh, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. This person is super duper nostalgic over you with a capital N. They cannot stop thinking about you. And in fact, the only thing that helps them throughout the day is them thinking about the better times that both of you had. It was magical. It was fun. There may be children involved, either between the both of you or they have children or you have children. You might have heard other readers say blast from the past. This is very true. Here we go. Ooh. They're going to fight for you. That's the outcome. We're coming full circle now. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. They know that perhaps your barriers are very you know, tight. Your walls are up. They're going to fight for you because you're assertive. You put your foot down. You defend your, you know, your place. You defend your position here because you know you've done nothing wrong. This was perhaps something even to do with your person's attitude, perhaps old way to, ways of thinking, stubborn. Like I can, you know, I hear you, Libra, but I'm not listening to you. But obviously they did something massive regret here. So they're going to have to fight for you. Split the deck, please. Yeah. 
Beautiful. The seven of pentacles, that is Taurus energy. They want to plant the seed, nourish this connection. They're thinking long term. They're thinking of the bigger picture here. That is a very determined person to come back to you. Even their eyes, are, they're just really intense. Look at that. I want to clarify because this ends up being a very basic blueprint and we could just leave it here. But you know me, I, I love getting straight into it. More, please. More messages. Two. Last one. More messages, please. Guide Libra. Guard Libra and always protect Libra, please, from now into the future. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. So this is interesting. I'm hearing the word sorry. I'm not seeing any apology cards. I hope I see it, but I'm picking up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Four of Swords, that's you. Four of Swords is represented by Libra energy. This is about rest, recuperation, recovery, healing. We're gathering our thoughts, we're chewing, we're molding over everything that was said. Interesting to note that the Four of Swords is the aftermath, right? The after effects. This is what happens after the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is heartbreak. It can be infidelity, doesn't have to be. Sometimes more often than not, it isn't. But it can represent a third party intrusion, whether it was you know, adult children on their side, their ex, their family. We've got there too many cooks spoil the broth, right? So mm, you're wondering, can we do it? And I think some of you are going to meet this person in the middle. We have the full Aries energy. It's unnumbered, so it's fresh, it's brand new. It's establishing now the purity and the innocence of this connection. It's about brand new beginnings, Libra. You know the risks involved, the pros and the cons. And I think some of you are curious because the fool is actually quite curious. And there we go. We've got the magician, Gemini Virgo energy. We're manifesting a brand new start, or at least they're manifesting themselves back into your life for a brand new beginning. Wow. I feel it's almost like perhaps you are doing it, but I feel like a person's doing it tenfold. They're manifesting so much. They're praying harder, wishing harder. They're doing a lot of visualization, the first conversation, the first encounter with you. Let's talk about that five of wands, please. Oh. I want to come back home, the Four of Wands. And there's the Sun, Leo energy above, blessing everyone. That's Aries energy again. So I like this card. It's in my top five favorite cards. It is reconciliation. It is coming back home to you. Of course, they don't want to fight. I think this is why they're a bit guarded. They don't want to fight because you are home. Your heart, your soul, Libra, represents home. And we've got hot topics here of, you know, commitment, engagement, marriage, the home, the family, children, celebrating. They want to come back home. Absolutely. Whether it is a physical home, but more often than not, it represents you. You are home. They feel safe. They feel secure. They just need a bit of an attitude adjustment, to be honest. Um, drop their ego. Drop the stubbornness here. They're coming back. The Nine of Swords is clarified. Aha! <laughs> Excuse me, the Emperor has come out again. It can only come out so many times. Double Aries energy. They're actually looking to the past. It's very interesting. The sun is shining again, more Leo energy. But the Emperor is looking to the past. Now, interesting to note that red in tarot still, it very is symbolic of passion, determination, resilience. Yeah, they're not giving up. And I feel here that that's why they want to take control of the situation now because of what they did. And they're also acknowledging perhaps their ego got in the way, their stubbornness, my way or the highway, being too traditional. They need to think outside the box. That's why they want to clarify this. They want to rectify, right all the wrongs that they have done. The Seven of Cups, please, is clarified by the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. This is not predicting anything. This is more in their head. They're very nervous. Are they scared? Yes. Are they anxious? Absolutely. But what are they doing here? They're cutting themselves free. They've got the small little, what well, looks like a little dagger there. And they're cutting themselves loose. So yes, nervous, absolutely. Mentally, emotionally, they're all over the place. But they realize, you know what? Feel the fear and do it anyway. I, I say that quite a lot. That's the only way to get to the heart of the matter is face the music. Let's talk about the Six of Cups. Here they come back because they want this with you. One of my favorite tens, Ten of Pentacles. 
Virgo energy. This is the dream life manifested. Oh, wow. They want it all with you. The commitment, the engagement, the marriage. I always say this, we don't have to get married. But the energy there is ripe for the plucking. There is a sense what they see home with you. They see family, not just a house, but a home. Create your own family traditions or keep up the family traditions. That's why they're coming back because they know, Libra, they're not going to get this with anyone else. That's, that's why you're so unique, Libra. I, you pretty much don't have to do anything here. I'm not seeing any action cards required on your end. This is something your person has to fix. Seven of Wands is clarified. Ooh, beautiful. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Taurus energy. This is all about balance. Equal give and take here. You may expect a gift also if you, if you celebrate the holidays or if you celebrate maybe Christmas or maybe the new year. A gift for the new year to start on a clean slate. Now, I'm not excusing your person because I really kind of don't like their attitude. What I do like is that they're trying to fix it. They're trying to rectify it, right all the wrongs. But this always tells me someone's intentions, their agenda. I'm going to admit they have good intentions now. They're seeing the error of their ways. That's why they're going to fight for you. Let me split the deck, please. Got the devil. Who's behind the devil, please? Three of cups. Okay, could be family and friends that are poisoning your person's mind. Ooh, these are polar opposites. Number 15 and 14. Yeah, they want to heal this. There might have been something quite toxic about your person, even their attitude. Maybe they were surrounded by someone very toxic. But Temperance is saying, no, 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 we're going to heal this because that's the card of extremes. One more, please. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. This is a solid offer. This is a solid breakthrough, a solid beginning. Let's compliment, please, the Seven of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. Judgment, beautiful. Scorpio energy, number 20 in the major arcana. Here they come back. Your person on their own has had major epiphanies, a big wake-up call, you could say, an internal shift. They're going to ask you for a second chance, but they're realizing they're going to have to fight for this. They need to change, and here they come. They've, they have changed for the better. That's a very big sudden realization. Wow. There is determination, King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I know what? I'm actually really liking this. This person is very determined. And I have to keep going back to this stare. This person is very determined now to come back home to you, to fix the mess that they did. They're prepared to actually take this on board. It's like, Libra, you don't have to do anything. Let me fix this because I hurt you and you didn't deserve this. You absolutely didn't, Libra. You're all about equality, fairness, equal give and take, and justice. Now they're going to fix this. Love it. Power to you, Libra. Never change for anyone. These are the immediate love messages and energies coming your way in the next short weeks. I'll see you next week. Bye.